Hello everyone, welcome back to Malware Analysis Crash Course. In my previous video, I showed how to analyze the suspicious URL without opening it. In this video, I'm going to show how to analyze the malware traffic and collect the IOSC. It is most important skill for every cybersecurity professional to know it. Without further delay, let's get into the video. So we're going to analyze the malware traffic using Wireshark. Mostly cybersecurity analysts export the PCAP file from the SIM tool. But for this demonstration, I have downloaded the malware sample PCAP file from malware analysis website. So I have downloaded the malware sample file. This is a sample file I have downloaded from the malware traffic analyst.net. Uh, you can download the same file and there are plenty of uh, practice files are there. You can download PCAP files and you can practice it for your uh, enhancing the malware traffic analysis skills using Wireshark. So for this demonstration, I have already, uh, I'm just using traffic analysis T1 running. So I have already downloaded this PCAP. It is in a zip file. So you can get the password from, you can go to this about this block and you can get the password of, so all the files will be in except and the password is infected. So that is the password. Uh, I would suggest please download in a uh, sandbox environment and try to practice it because it's all real malware uh, samples. So please handle with the cat. So I actually I'm just running the sample in the Flare VM, which is we set up in the previous uh, labs. Like how uh, if you didn't watch those video, I'll giving the link in the description. Please check out how to set up the Flare VM. So I have already downloaded and extracted. Now I need to go to the Wireshark and need to export it. So to do that, just install Wireshark. Just go to File, Open, and and select the PCAP file, open. So the files has been loaded. So now what we need to collect is, we need to collect these information, like details of victim. What is the host name, IP address, what is the MAC address, and what is the account, Windows user account name of the victims. And also we need to collect the uh, IOC indicator of compromise, which website, IP address, domain name, what are the URL associated with the infection and what is the sharp value of it for the malware file. And we have to see whether it is an infection, it is a malicious file or not malicious file. So based on we have to collect all this information. So let's go quickly and we'll start the investigator. So we have to do certain settings in Wireshark or uh, to do our investigation. So you can see that the time range, right? It is in a, it is not in a proper format. So we will let put it in a proper format and we will try to remove this number value because it's not going to add any value. And it is just, uh, means it's just column is increasing and it's uh, so that if I am adding new column for my investigation, then it will be like a lengthy and need to uh, scroll it over here to there. So it will be a pain for me. So all I need to do is right click and uh, remove this just tick it so it's gone so now we will change the timing view time display format and i'll put it as a date and time of day so first details we need to gather is the host mission so what is the host mission what is the ip address we need to collect it so i can see that all the communication is happening from 172.16.1.239 to this is what happening so let me use a one filter ip 1.239 so that this using this filter this will give me all the details only relevant to this ip address okay so now you can see that all the only uh, the ip source ip address and it is communicating what is happening uh, just we are getting it and i can see that there are protocols multiple protocols are used it dns d uh, tcp ldap lot of things are you can see the protocols are there 
So to put it very specifically, means I want to, uh, to know what all protocols are used here, what is the ratio. Let me go to statics, protocol hierarchy. So this will give me the hierarchy wise uh, and the percentage of using it. Okay, so here I can see that, uh, so major 96 percentage is TCP one, under that one NetBias one, SMP data, Kerberos is there, Hypertext is there, so HTML web pages are interconnected. So these are there. So let me, so first step, what we need to do is, we need to collect the host name of the, uh, and host name, IP address, MAC address, and Windows one. So what I need to do is, so let me apply HTML so that I will get the certain information from there. So all you need to do is select as apply as a filter selected. So now I can see all HTTP traffic related traffics will be filtering it by Wireshark. So source is requested something in all HTTP get, you can see that one. Right click, follow TCP stream. So here you can see that user is using Windows 10 machine. This is a one, uh, you can see that user is using Windows 10 and it is a Chrome browser. So we got this information, but there is no host name is there. So there is no host name, there is no. So let me close this one. So there is a sync packet is sending over there. So this is a source IP address and the destination port is using its 8088. We can do one more thing is also. So right click, column preference. So let's add a one more column. So we will call this port as source port. We'll select the, so it should, this should be source port. We'll add one more. Destination port. So we will know what port is communicating and everything at all. Okay, so the destination port. So now this should go, order wise we just putting on it. So source, source port, destination, destination port and protocol. Just click okay. So you can see that this is a source, port number is 808 and it is communicating with this destination via 59811. So now we have the IP address of the victims. So the infected IP address is 172. So this is the where I keep seeing on it. So generally this is the infected machine. So all this, the one IP address I'm just seeing is, this is what I am seeing it. So all the communications is happening from this is what. So 172.16.1.239. So this is what. So now I need to know what is the host name, host address of this IP address, this one. And MAC address of it is what. So to do that, to find the MAC address, let's go to the statics. Again, let it keep it, go to the protocol hierarchy. So you can see that there is an address resolution protocol, ARP. So basically from our protocol, we can get the MAC address of it. So select it. So we just applying the ARP filter. Let us just loading on it. Okay. So here we can see that this is a center IP address. You can click it and you can see this. This is a MAC address. Right click, copy, value, and we'll go to the sheet and we will paste it okay so this is the mac address now we got the mac address so now we need to identify the host name and which is the windows user account used on this machine so to do that what we need to do is again go to the statics protocol hierarchy so before do that what we'll do is we will clear this filter just into mark so that the filters will be resetting it. We'll wait for some more time. The filter is resetting. Okay. So now go to the statics, protocol hierarchy, or even we can use internet protocol version as well. So we will apply as a, this is some major ratios is there. So we will select and we will select this one. The filter is based on IP, we will just filtering it. Let's go and see if anything we can find interesting on it. Okay. So you here be able to see this one. You can see that this is that host name. If I click this one, so if I 
make it little bit bigger net bios name service additional record so we got this host name of it copy value so just copying the value and let's go here and paste the host mission address so this is the desktop so host name is this is what ip address this is what and mac address is this is what so now we need to find the windows user account name which is related to it so to do that we will clear this filter because we need to all resetting the filters because when we we just filtering with right so we will not get the accurate results so we have to do a multiple filters to get the data relevant data so once the reset yes the reset it static again we will go to the protocol hierarchy so kerberos this is authentication where your authentications will happen so from here using this protocol we can get the who is again using the windows run so select it c name string so kerberos only but c name string using this filter we'll see if anything else can be found it so wireshark is a fantastic tool um, yes you have to practice more to see what filters are available and those things and all okay so here is the c name in valley i'm just analyzing whether uh, able to see any what is a windows account is some uh, associated with it so here i can see the string values in it what i will do i can do one more thing is right click make it as a column okay so here i can now once i making this t string as a column so that i can see that samantha dot read is the windows account connected with this post mission okay so you can see this one so 172 dot two dot so and host name so this is our account we are this is a victim account so this person has using means this is a windows account is yes. connected means it's it's here it means using in this desktop host um, so basically this user is using this host name maybe this machine and the machine ip address is this is what infected victim machine now we have collected so now we have the details of victim mission host name we have ip address we have mac address we have and which user account is is using this mission so now we know this is what so now what we need to do is next step is we need to collect the indicator of compromise so we need to see with this user what ip is again uh, connecting it what is the victim means basically the hacker attacker machines domain is there is any url is associated with it sha value we can so let's clear the filter and the file export the object as html so now i can see that okay so there is a url so basically it's excel file user is downloading from this website port number 8080 and it is also downloading file 6.bin after that it is start communicating with 81.17.23.125 and the port number is 2318 okay so let me note down all these details so the ip address what it is communicating is see after the excel is he's downloading some excel top of that after excelling in something file 6.bin is downloading then it is establishing the connection with this ip address so basically it's a reverse shell connectivity it's happening using the port number 2318 so the attacker's ip address is 81.17.23.125 and the port is 2318 so i need to see if there is any port is open or that okay so the domain is okay so the domain is and uh, here it is downloading excel file is downloading and here it is downloading file 6 dot bin file some bin binary file is downloading so the url is associated with here is this is what so we need to see the hash value of it 
So what we can do is we can select save. So we need to carefully, we need to save these files. So this is the file. Let me save it. And uh, this is also I need to save it. So let me open quickly Hashcal. So now I need to carefully drop this file into data. Now I get the SHA-1 value. So let me copy and let me go to virus total and uh, go to the search. There is a hash value. Let me paste it and search. Okay. So it's a malicious file. So out of 67 engine, 57 engine has detected this is a malicious file. So let me go and mark it out it as malicious file. Okay. So let's do the same thing for other file. Copy this one, drag and drop, calculate. So we got this again, Shava number. Let this is Excel file. We'll paste this SHA and we will again we'll go to the virus total. Search. Yes, out of 16 engine, 35 engine has detected this is a malicious one. So let's this is also a malicious file. So now we have successfully analyzed the one and we have all the IOC devices, IOC details. So now we have all this URL, which URL is downloaded and what domain it is, IP address. So we have all the things and we have the SHA value of it also. And it is malicious. We have checked that malicious. It is a malicious file. So now we have collected all the IOC of it. That's it, guys. I hope now you have a good understanding how to analyze the malware traffic using Wireshark. In my next video, I'll show you how to create a Yara rule. So based on that Yara rule, you can uh, check your malicious softwares and everything and all. And we can analyze or uh, we can predict what kind of malicious program it is there and what is the things and all there. So we will, in my next video, we will show, I'll be showing how to create a Yara rule. So stay tuned for it. If you like this video, hit the like button. Comment if you have any questions and suggestions. If you think video is useful, please consider to subscribe the channel. Show your support by giving like, comment, share and subscribing. Follow me on social media platform. Thank you for all watching this video. Signing off now. See you soon with another video. Thank you. Bye. Take care.